Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Cuts. We're back with another one. Right now, we're gonna go do a couple lawns. We got two lawns set up, a little backyard of my friends that we're also gonna do. Uh, but right now, first, before we get started, I'm gonna go uh, head to, what is it, a Whataburger? So I can go drop off some food for my wife and then uh, we'll be on our way. I'm a little bit sweaty guys because it's hot and humid here in South Texas. It's 82 degrees. It's not that hot, but the humidity is the roof right now. It's bad. So uh, we're going to go take care of that and then we'll be back. We'll be heading out to our furthest job, which is probably a good 10, 15 minutes out. We'll go do that one. It should be quick in and out. Hopefully they have the uh, back gate open so we can get in there and get out real quick. And then we'll come further in town and get those other ones done. So we'll see you in a bit, guys. We'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys, we're at our first location. We were actually going to go to my friend's house, but he didn't have his gate open. So we're going to do this one first. <clears throat> it's not too bad. It is a big, big lot though. So the grass is a little bit tall, but it's it's kind of thin in some areas. In most areas, it's kind of thin. So uh, that should help. And it is a very, very big lot. It's probably maybe a, a quarter acre to a half acre. It's all this area right here. So we're gonna do all that around the side. We gotta trim all along the fence line, around the trees. We're gonna be here a while, guys. Uh, maybe a good hour or two. So we'll give you guys an update. Today we didn't, we're not gonna do it all electrically. This is a very big lot. Uh, we could technically do it electric, electrically, but I had my self-propelled Ego lawnmower, my electric lawnmower way in the back of my shed and I didn't have time to take it out so we're just going to go ahead and use our gas powered snapper we have it in there it's our sp90 so we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit okay guys that's uh that's what the front yard looks like after we hit it with the mower we threw a little bit of debris onto the street we'll blow that back on back onto the lawn so we're just gonna do a quick cut uh, I don't think this customer is gonna pay too much so we're just gonna go ahead and trim that up too afterwards first we're gonna mow then we'll trim up doesn't need to be perfect this is what you what I usually do if the customer isn't gonna be paying me too much I'll just do a, a mow first and then a trim and it doesn't look that great because of the clippings that the trimmer leaves but that's uh that's the way it goes guys you gotta you gotta cut time if you're not getting paid for your work so that's what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first mow and then trim that way i know what i have left to trim i don't waste my battery on my 60 volt electric string trimmer and at the same time it's uh quicker i just mow the big part and then trim the small part so I'm gonna go ahead and probably set up the camera here and show you guys a little time lapse of me mowing this area here. We'll see you guys in a bit, guys. I'm gonna give you guys a little demo of this Snapper SP90 with the Briggs & Stratton Professional Series. 175cc, 7.75 pound-feet of torque. Let me show you how it cuts. Side discharge.
beast, guys. This mower's a beast. I accidentally fell into that hole. Look at that. Quick, really quick. I mean, given I have a newly sharpened blade on here, but this thing is quick. So I'll probably do maybe, I was thinking about a time lapse of this area, but I might do a real time of mowing this area. What I usually do is I'll split it into two, two pieces and then I'll attack individually. So for first I'll attack the right side, then I'll attack the left side. So let me go ahead and set you guys up and we'll show you a little bit of, uh, I guess a real time mowing with the Snapper SP90. Here we go, guys. Okay, guys, we finished up this area here. <clears throat> Keep in mind, we're push mowing. This thing is killing it right now. It's, uh, it's doing a great job. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm only eating, eating. I'm only putting the mower up to halfway so that it can be more efficient. It won't heat up. Ooh, we're running a little bit low on fuel. So we're gonna be needing to fuel up in a bit. It's a good thing I stopped by some method for some eth ah getting tongue twisted here. For some non-ethanol fuel. <clears throat> there at a at Walmart. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty much setting it at half. That way the deck does not get overwhelmed. It doesn't get clogged. It's less stress on the motor. It gives me more of a workout. I need it. So we're gonna continue on with this side, which isn't that bad. That side was the worst probably because it gets more sunlight. This side has a lot of tree coverage. So probably that's why it's not growing that much, which is actually a good thing for me. So we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna mow this side and we'll give you guys an update. We'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, we already got <coughs> this whole side done. We just need a string trim around all the edges. But uh, we pretty much got all of it done. There it is. We did a double cut because we had a little bit of, uh, of clumping on there and I don't like to leave that on there. So I did a, a quick double cut and uh, now we just got a string trim. Finish up the property. Okay guys. I'm gonna go ahead and string trim and we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. We're done. We got everything blown off. String trimmed, mowed, everything. Huge, huge lot. It's probably about a quarter acre, maybe even a half acre, I don't know. Maybe even an acre, I don't know, but we're ready to go. Go ahead and comment share subscribe and we'll see you on the next one guys